YouTube was and Dark Frog Hobbies. This is Bradley and I'm here with another video for you guys. It's been a while. This might be maybe my third or fourth video of the year. I'm not sure. You guys check and go watch those two videos. Uh, what's been going on? We're in a bad time in the world with this pandemic. And um, you know, I hope that everybody is doing okay. I've lost uh, two loved ones and a bunch of other people's people that I know. So uh, with that said, like, let's just, you know, be healthy, wear our masks, wear our gloves outside, and we'll get through this. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about what I picked up and what I'm about to do. So, Paulie from Vivarium's and the Mist posted that he will be delivering in, I think, New York City. And I just happen to live in New York City, but I'm like, well, I could just come to you since I go to his neck of the woods probably almost every day. So I picked up this nice piece of ghostwood. This is beautiful. I only paid 20 bucks for this and um, I'm going to use all of the things inside this nice little box for my, what's this, uh, Zoomed Skyscraper Terrarium, terrarium uh, 18 by 18 by 36. So I got this, uh, this is probably, this is, excuse me, not probably, this is going to be my centerpiece, but no, I'm, I'm going to put this dead center. I just thought about it because the other one that I did that someone said was, was like straight garbage. They like, I'm like, what? Like, oh, that's the most horrible build they ever seen. Which, I mean, you're open to your opinion, but I guarantee you my escapes are probably better than the person that said that. So yeah, I paid 20 bucks for that piece of ghost wood. And another thing, I would usually order ghost wood because it's hard to get like these elite pieces of ghost wood, but Paul Lee has these and he has larger ones as well. So that was 20 bucks. Also picked up these two nice pieces of cork. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just break these up so that I can, um, I can cover as much ground not ground, but background space as possible. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta get this tracker back on my face. Hold on, hold on, there we go. Because um, I was uh, able to get this little piece of fine, this little bag, excuse me. Hold on, hold on, sorry, I have to look at my phone, I'm trying to just get this video done. Yeah, I was, oh, I was able to get this gallon of fine tree fern fiber from Poly because I did. I really, really didn't want to order anything because you know everything that's not essential might not be working. So I don't know if like actual pet supply and the exotic field is essential or not. So I don't want to do that. And um. I picked up two pieces of driftwood for the barrier. I paid $20 for that bag, and I paid $15 a piece for these pieces of driftwood. And I also got a real, real large bromeliad from Poly as well. Um, these, did I say driftwood? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, these pieces of driftwood, uh, I paid $10 for. I was like, yeah, ten dollars a piece. Let me see. Fifty. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, I pay like ten dollars for these. So I'm going to use these as my barrier, substrate barrier, to keep everything back. Cause I'm pretty much doing the same build that I did before. And other news. I'm waiting to still get these tank stands. I'm just waiting to get this thousand dollars that it's going to cost. I could buy it, but I don't want to use my own money. So I'm going to use the government stimulus package or something 
Don't of that nature to buy those tank stands. I will not be using my own money right now. So that's about it. Little update. Um, when those stands come in, I'm going to be making videos nonstop. So until next time, like, don't dislike, comment, subscribe, and enjoy your frogs. Thank you.